Today, I'll be going over the top seven benefits of real estate investing. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Terribolini, and I'm all about building digital and physical assets for early financial freedom. So if you're into real estate investing and online business, be sure to like and subscribe and you won't miss a thing. So it's probably no surprise that I love real estate. I've been uh, doing this for a few years now. I started in bought my first house, my first rental property, I should say, in 2018. And I bought this house here that I'm in um, in early 2021. And this is going to be another investment property as well eventually. Um, but I'm living in it for now and doing a complete renovation. Um, but there's a number of benefits uh, to real estate and why I enjoy it so much. So let's get into them. Um, number one is cash flow. So uh, with my property, my rental property that I have, uh, it cash flows about three, four hundred dollars a month right now. So that's money in my pocket every single month, and it's 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 um, continuous. It's passive as well, which is great. Um, you know, just every month I get a check in the mail, basically. Um, well, now it's it's done over um, digitally, so I don't have to deal with the paychecks. It just appears in my bank account. Um, so, which is awesome. Obviously there's some drawbacks to real estate. You have to deal with tenants and stuff, but for the most part, you know, it's cash flow. It's, 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 um, consistent. It's pretty reliable and, you know, great benefit. Um, the second one here is it's an appreciating asset. So what that means is that it is over time, it becomes more valuable. It, it increases in value. Um, and that's not always, that's not always uh, certain. It's kind of um, uh, speculative to a degree. But generally speaking, real estate prices go up along with, um, you know, the price of everything goes up. So um, that's great. And um, along with that, it's, it's tangible. So um, while it appreciates with the market, you can also do something called forced appreciation, which means you can do remodeling to the house to make it nicer and that basically forces it to be more valuable because uh, people will pay more for something that's you know been fixed up and updated and looks really nice. So that's number two. Number three is tax advantages. So I get a ton of write-offs every year every time I do my taxes. Um, you know you can write off the the taxes you have to pay on it. You can write off the insurance. You know there's a number of write-offs for it. Um, Depreciation is another one that's that's huge. So um, depreciation is basically your your home value will kind of like decrease over time because of there's maintenance and things you have to do. So and that's written over I believe about 30 years, and so you can write off a certain portion of your house over a span of time, and that's just um, it's it's basically a paper write off, and you know that helps with taxes every single year. So. Number four would be loan pay down. So when you have renters in place, you're not paying the mortgage, your renters are. And so every month, like you, you get, number one, you get cash flow. Number two, you get loan pay down. So, um, so you get cash in your pocket immediately, but there's also money going towards the, the loan balance that you have on the property. So every month it goes down, you know, whatever it is. So, you know, I get cash flow of, let's say like $300 a month, but then um, my mortgage gets paid down probably like three or four hundred dollars a month. So if you add those together, it's like, you know, seven, eight hundred dollars a month, um, depending on, you know, how much I'm making um, through, um, you know, renters, rent increases and stuff. Um, so that's, you know, basically money in my pocket every month, uh, even more so. So. Uh, that's number four. Number five is it's uh, a hedge against inflation. So right now we're experiencing a good amount of inflation in the market and the value of my home from, you know, 2021 to now has been quite substantial because the, the price of everything went up. Inflation went up, you know, five, six, seven percent um, in some areas. So the value of my homes went up dramatically. Um, doesn't mean it's going to stay that high, but you know, it's, it basically, instead of having all my cash in the bank, it would, in the bank, it would lose value basically. And having my money in this house and the other house, um, uh, basically made, uh, you know, my money went straight up along with the market. So, um, 
it's an excellent hedge against inflation. Uh, number six. So this is a huge one and why I chose real estate over stocks. Um, real estate allows you to use leverage and you can use some leverage in stock trading, uh, but it can get a little dicey <laughs> um, um, with margin and everything. But using the bank for leverage, basically you can put down, I mean, you can put down three and a half percent if you're buying your first home you can use something called an FHA loan and put 3.5% down if you want. Um, but you don't have to put 20% down, 20 down. You can put 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. Whatever you want to put down, you can do that. Um, you, have to, you have to pay something called um, private mortgage insurance, but um, it's not a big deal. Um, but using what's great about that is you put down, let's say, 10% to buy a home. And let's say it's a hundred thousand dollar home, so you put down ten thousand dollars, but you're gonna get earn appreciation and everything on that full one hundred thousand um, dollars. So it's very, very, very powerful because you can put very little money down but reap the benefits of a much larger amount. So let's say you had like ten percent or uh, ten thousand dollars in the bank, and you made five percent. That's that's you know that's great, um, but if you have 5% on 100 grand, the value of the property, that's gonna be a lot more. So leverage is very powerful. Um, and number seven is financial opportunity. And what I mean by that is once you gain a certain amount of value in your property through appreciation, like you could have like a couple hundred grand just kind of like sitting in your home as equity and you can access that money. It's not gonna be overnight or immediate like stocks, but you can do like a cash out refinance. You can refinance your home, pull money out, and that's tax-free money. Um, it's considered a loan because you have to pay it back, but your tenants pay it back. But that's, you don't pay any taxes. Let's say you pull out 100 grand out of one of your rental houses, like you don't pay any taxes on that. Um, so, yeah, and you can also do a HELOC, which is a home equity line of credit, which is basically a credit card against the value of your home. If you don't pay it, you lose your house, but you can use that money to do a lot of things. You can do like a remodel on a house. You can, you can use it to buy another property. You can use it to, to build an addition or whatever you want. Um, you can use that money. Uh, now it's smart to use that money to build another asset or improve an asset. Um, but those are the top seven um, benefits of real estate investing and why I prefer it. So if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.